Welcome to 1730 Cheswit House, the oldest dated house in the Philippines. So this is going to be our first gallery. As you can see, we have here a diorama that shows the early Parian year 18th century. So basically, this is how it looks like before. That triangle, as you can see, that used to be their plaza before, which is now the Cebu Heritage Monument outside. And then before, there was a church named Iglesia de San Juan Bautista, or the San Juan Bautista Church. It used to be the most beautiful church here in Cebu. But unfortunately, because of rivalry between the cathedral, they ordered to demolish that church. Very sad. And that church is now the fire station in Parian. Moving here, this is the entire property, the 1730 Cheswit House. So basically, it consists of two houses. The House A, it was built in 1730, and the House B, it was built a century after. So right now, we are in the House B, in the small house. And then before, there was a tower house, but it was torn down to the previous owner due to earthquake, so it is no longer existing. So here, this used to be their main street, the Binakayan Street, but the street here is already closed. Now in the house A, this wall, it is made of coral stone, and this post, this is made of mulave tree, or in Cebuano we call this tugas, and these are original from 1730. So yeah, this is now the history of Cebu. Even before the Spaniards came in the Philippines, there were already Chinese merchants used to settle in Cebu, particularly in Parian. The word parian, it means trading. So this is their Chinese junk. This is their trading vessel. This is what they use to carry their goods from China to the Philippines. And from this junk, they transfer their products to the casco. It's like a small boat. And this casco, it will pass through waterways or the estuary or the steros. And it is where the barter system happened before. story of the arrival of Spanish colonization in the Philippines, headed by Ferdinand Magellan. This is the route, the Magellan circumnavigation of the world. But unfortunately, in Cebu, in Mactan, the Battle of Mactan happened that ended the life of Ferdinand Magellan. And then 44 years later, Miguel Lopez de Legazpe, he continued the expedition of Magellan together with Ordonita and he was the one who declared Manila as the capital city of the Philippines. Because before, Cebu was. This is the first galleon made in the Philippines named San Diego Galleon. Spanish colonization, they settled here in Cebu. This was their plan for, for Cebu year 1742. They divided the city into three districts, Ciudad for Spaniards, Parian for Chinese mestizos, and San Nicolas for the Filipinos or for the native. This is the oldest school in the Philippines, Colegio de San Aldefonso. This was from the Jesuits. Theater in Cebu, the Teatro Oriente, which is now a Jollibee. Um, it is located in Colon Street, which is the oldest street in the Philippines, named after Christopher Columbus. And here we have a collection. This is an old film projector used in cinemas, in theaters, for movies. So before the present owner opened his museum to the public, they did an excavation and they found, they discovered these artifacts in the house itself. We have here local shorts. 
cards. Annual bows of seashells. Different wood piles. Ceramics from Chinese. Most of them are from Ming Dynasty. This artifact that they discovered. It's, it's a Chinese coin from Ming Dynasty under Emperor Wanli, and also some Japanese porcelain shards. So this is not the Jesuit gallery, the story about the Jesuits. So year 1730, the Jesuits used to settle here. This used to be their provincial headquarters or their residence. But unfortunately, in year 1768, the Jesuits were expelled in the Philippines. And 1910, the previous owners, the Alvarez, they acquired this property. And then eventually sell this to the present owner, the Chinese, the C family. And the C family, they bought this property intended to be a warehouse because they own a hardware chain here in Cebu. So that is why, as you can see, this is a functioning warehouse from the outside. So yeah, this is St. Ignatius, their founder. He's the one who built the Society of Jesus. And they're called Jesuits. By the way, the Jesuits were the group of priests who came here in the Philippines. They are the founders of all the Ateneos in the Philippines where Dr. Jose Rizal studied. A Jesuit seal, one of the evidence that this house is a Jesuit house. So this is now the living area. Just note that the things you can see around are not original. It's either a collection or donation from the present owner. Um, only the structure of the house is original. The floor, the post, the walls, and the roof. This is the master's bedroom. And one also of the evidence that this house was totally completed in year 1730 is that seal. It's annual 1730. The word annual means year. And we also have another room here. Um, these are the collection of the present owners of an old items. Old sewing machine, old cameras, old cell phones, old ratio, and projector. shows the structure of the house. So that is all for house A. Built in 1730, this is the house B. It was built um, year 1830. And there's a bridge that connects the two houses. This is the Azotea. dining area. This used to be the tower house before. And 
They are the present owners. The C family, they're Chinese. This is their store. And we have here old items, cash register, calculator, old steamer. I'm going to share to you the fascinating stories about how they discovered the house. So this is Mr. Jamie C. He went to Tanaydi, Manila. He studied there. And then just one day, he went to a library and he rediscovered the book of Father William Rapetti stating there the properties of the Jesuits in the entire Philippines. And upon reading the book, um, he found a familiar structure, which is this house. And after that, he told his professor, Sir, this is our house in Cebu. <laughs> and after a long investigation, it was confirmed that this house is a Jesuit house. And just near 2008 that they opened this one as museum to the public. And this is the Filipino dirty kitchen, or what we call the buhan. This is a very traditional one. We have here an old ice crusher, you know, for halo-halo. <laughs> this is where they cook using clay pots. Yeah, we have here an old meat grinder and an old rice grinder. Like this. So this one, this used to be the office of the previous owner, the Alvarez family. We have here an old radio, old typewriter, old electric fan. This is more than 50 years old, this is vintage. Tadaan! Still working! And we have here an old telephone. Hello? And an old TV. So yeah, that's the end of the tour. <laughs> that's all for the 1730 Chesed House Museum. So, come and visit us! <laughs>